There's two ways to make a web page. One is by using an HTML editor, and the other is by hand coding HTML code. Now, when I say hand coding, do not be afraid of that. It's a big misconception online that a lot of people say that hand coding is complicated or it's hard or you need some kind of super genius IQ to understand it. It's actually very simple and I'm going to show you step by step everything you need to know about hand coding and it's going to be in a short amount of time that you're going to learn uh, hand coding and hand coding gives you a greater flexibility than you can have with any HTML editor and you need to know at least a little bit about hand coding to be able to make web pages because there's always times where you're going to have to modify code. So for now, temporarily, we're just going to work with the HTML editor. It's the logical place to start because it's a little bit easier, more intuitive, free to learn right now. But after you use the editor, um, it's going to make more sense for you on what I mean by code. So temporarily, have amnesia. I'm giving you permission to ignore the fact that web pages and code uh, have something to do with each other and we're just going to focus on the basic ways to create a web page. So let's look at these notes and HTML editor is a software program that makes web pages for you and when I say HTML editor I basically mean it's a what you see is what you get editor and the abbreviation for that is WYSIWYG. So if you see a word that uh, spells out WYSIWYG, uh, that stands for, let me type it down here, what you see is what you get, WYSIWYG. So HTML editors are WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. And it's just like using a word processor if you were to type something in Microsoft Word to type a letter, that's exactly how a WYSIWYG HTML editor works. But instead of making a Word document, a Word processor file, it makes a web page file. So I actually recommend that you use Coffee Cup HTML editor. That's what I use, and there's a link to it inside the recommended link section of this website. It's just a nicer software to use and it's got some it makes nicer code and when you learn about hand coding you're gonna see why that's a good thing uh, it cost a few bucks though you do have to buy it and with software there's always uh, not always but usually there's a free version and then there's a paid version and usually the paid version is a little bit nicer has a little more advanced features and does a little more than the free version but if you're just getting started and you don't want to spend money now you can use Mozilla. It's a free software that is actually pretty good. I've really been impressed with it. For a while I didn't really like any free HTML editors, but this one, uh, especially since they've just re-updated it, it's pretty nice for free and it, it works pretty well. So you can use the free software until you make a little bit of money with your website and then you may want to invest in getting the better software. Uh, and in my opinion, Coffee Cup is a better software than the Mozilla. But get the Mozilla if you're just getting started and you'll have no problems. You'll be able to make nice web pages. You can make nice web pages with Mozilla. I'm just trying to give you the honest answer here. And the honest answer is I would recommend Coffee Cup. Now, there's also other softwares that you may have heard of. And I'll just name two of them. There's other ones out there. But Dreamweaver and Microsoft Front Page are two very popular HTML editing softwares and I have some words here popular expensive sophisticated unnecessary they have a few extra bells and whistles and do a few things that even coffee cup does not do but you have to be a more advanced user to be able to understand them and it's kind of like overkill you know you could buy a piece of software that does all kinds of stuff that you don't even know how to do and for all intents and purposes it's it's like you don't own the advanced software because you don't understand the advanced tools so if you already understand Dreamweaver and front page you know good for you and I would say continue to use them but if you're anywhere from the beginner to intermediate level I would say just don't worry about Dreamweaver and front page they're just uh, maybe slightly beefed up versions of coffee cup and there's a few reasons why you shouldn't use Dreamweaver and front page their code is really 
uh, nasty in the pages that they make and they do a lot of funky things that actually cost you search engine results and a search engine expert told me before that if pages are made with Dreamweaver or front page it's very rare that they will end up in the top 10 search results usually it's uh, nice coding coffee cups pretty good for an editor but hand coding is very search engine friendly search engines like the hand coding because it's there it's uh, easier for the search engines to go through and I for some reason they like it better I won't get into more than I know right now about that so let me show you how to get this Mozilla you want to go to mozilla.org and you can see the address right up here and this page may change over time but what you want to do is look for Mozilla and right here it says version 1.7.12 that could change to version 1.8 or 1.7.14 so go to mozilla.com and download the most recent version of their software so when I click on it here it takes me to a screen that says Mozilla Suite okay then you go over here download now since I have Windows and I speak English I downloaded it here and you just go through the download process and install Mozilla onto your computer I've already done this and I'm not going to walk you through that because all you do is you download the file and then install it so download it install it and I'm gonna bring it up in the next video and show you how to use it